Alright guys, I've got some closure here. I figured it out through some trial and error. Um, the thing that stopped me from making this happen before, I'm going to turn this this way. So, when I turn the machine on, apparently, you know, by default it's going to have this red going. Which, on Mach 3, or like these other hobbyist um, type things, so like this little CNC mill here, um, you have to freaking, you have to reset it. You have to reset the program um, right off the bat. One of the biggest things is it's got a flashing thing. It says reset. Before you do anything, you have to reset it. It's the same thing on this machine. I couldn't figure it out. I thought, I mean, I traced every wire on this machine. I read through all the schematics. This whole page of wiring schematics and traced down everything. Checked every connection. This was the problem. I want to share this with you because if you've got this machine and you don't know anything about these machines, hit this button. Let me make sure you can see it. This button right here. I'm going to give you a, a side shot. So you see the red light? I can't get this green light to work. I couldn't get the machine to do anything until I hit this button right here. I hit that. I can actually hear in the back of this machine a relay clicking when I hit that reset button. So hit this button, then try your green button. Bam. Red's off. Warm business. You can now jog your machine. You can change a tool. Let's go tool. Three. No. So is it just tool? The number, then execute? Yes, that's how you do it. You don't have to enter. You just hit tool, the number, then execute. Okay. I get it. No problem. So let's go tool. Three, execute. Oh, it's on tool three. How about let's go tool four? Easy money. And we'll go tool eight, execute. Get on over there to tool eight. This is awesome. I love this. Okay, bonus footage for you guys. This is me crashing tool. the tool into the spindle, trying to do a tool change. Three, enter, no, damn. Okay, T, three, execute. Oh shit. <laughs> okay, it's straight up smashed into that. Not super hard. I don't know if you could see what happened. Oh, you know what? I'm an idiot. X. Um. Wow. Some people's kids. Okay. All right. Here's what happened. It thought it was on tool three. Unfortunately, there was a tool in tool three. So when this thing went over there for the tool change, it smashed into the freaking spindle. I don't think it damaged anything. Thanks for stopping by, guys. I do appreciate everyone's support. And uh, subscribe if you'd like to see more of this machine. Hopefully I can figure out how to use it.